Um, I'm just trying to decide if I'm comfortable even talking about this. This one's wife. Follow your own advice. Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. This one's wife is absolutely brilliant. She is. She's absolutely brilliant at telling other people how they should lead their lives. She's really good at telling other people how they should behave, what they should do, how they should conduct themselves. She does this through her sense of entitlement, which is created because she believes that she knows best. She believes that she has vast reservoirs of intelligence, wisdom and experience to share with the world. Not held back by any boundary recognition, not held back by any sense of decorum or discretion, she regularly advances her worldview over other people. Often it comes by way of a word salad. Often it comes by the commandeering of what other people have said, where she acquires those character traits. Regularly, it appears in fridge magnet platitudes. Well, what she is so very good at is playing the victim and then telling other people what they should be doing, how they should be behaving, telling people off for criticising her, criticising other people for not supporting her. We are regularly treated also to the natural hypocrisy of the narcissist of engaging in the very behaviours that she criticises others for, an attitude which, of course, is shown time and time again by many of her following sugars. Some of those followers may well be narcissists themselves, but a lot of their behaviour is simply driven by dim-wittedness and an erosion or absence of emotional empathy for other people, occasioned by their slavish devotion to this one's wife. This is why those particular clowns continue to say it, you shouldn't say this about her and then say something horrible about William and Kate, that they talk about you don't know her, but then they fail to realise they don't know her either, that they invariably make assumptions about the people that they're talking to, calling them racist without any knowledge as to what their racial composition would be. But we know that the sugars are both stupid and dim-witted, and they fail to recognise their own hypocrisies, which is less driven by narcissism and generally driven by stupidity and a reduction in their emotional empathy occasioned by their desire to stand up for their queen. With this one's wife, her hypocrisy is very much driven by her narcissism, and it's on display again and picked up upon by another commentator, this time as reported by Christopher Sharp in the Express newspaper. The headline reads, This one's wife told to follow own advice, as angry critic says, show Princess Kate kindness. Lizzie Cundy, a non-intimate secondary source of this one's wife who has been shelved if not disengaged, told this one's wife to follow her own advice and show Kate, Princess of Wales, some kindness as she recovers from abdominal surgery. Speaking to GB News America, after this one's wife gave a speech at the South by Southwest event in the United States, Ms. Cundy claimed that this one's wife always plays the victim. It's an accurate claim. We've seen it time and time again as a consequence of the victim mentality that her narcissism creates. Her narcissism alters the film to make her believe that she's the one that's hard done to and edits out her own atrocious behaviour towards other people. It revises history to tell her that she's the one that has been hurt. So, for instance, where she was the one that made Catherine, Princess of Wales, cry, her narcissism revises that history to tell her Actually, you were the one that was hurt by her. You were the one that was upset by her nastiness. You're the victim. You're the one that people should be supporting. Miss Cundy continued by stating, if she doesn't like the negative comments, she shouldn't read them. Well, that is an accurate observation. But this one's wife will continue to do so because her narcissism drives her to do so because it enables her to access fuel, even if it is challenge fuel, and all part of allowing her to assert control is having knowledge of 
what is actually occurring. She needs to know what's being said about her, because to know is to control. Furthermore, where there is information which is adverse, where it criticises her, albeit with justification, her narcissism rewrites that as an unjustified criticism to lend credence to this image of her being the victim. Therefore, it's actually in her narcissism's interest to keep looking at the headlines, because then she can go, see, they're being horrible about me again. What she doesn't do is say, I wonder why they're being critical about me. Let me think about this for a moment. Ah, I see. It's because essentially I did this and I did that. I get it. That criticism was merited, actually. She will never, ever do that because her narcissism will never allow her to contemplate her own behaviours and self-reflect. Indeed, it is hardwired to prevent her from accepting any accountability or fault. Therefore, what it does is it compels her to look because there's the chance of drawing in fuel. She needs to know what's being said about her for the purposes of control. And it also assists her, for if she finds some information which is critical of her, then in the circumstances, what it then enables her to do is turn around and say, do you see what they're doing about me again? They're being nasty. It's unjustified. They're racist. They're haters. Thus, she'll always look. Lizzie Cundy continued by explaining, this one's wife really should take a leaf out of her own book. She's talking about humanity and being kind, which she's not actually shown much kindness to our Kate, who's going through it really not well at the minute and had that huge operation. Miss Cundy also claimed that this one's wife had not shown much kindness to her own father and had not shown kindness to King Charles either. Her comments came, after the Duchess of Sussex revealed that she now keeps her distance from social media because of online bullying, which we all know is inaccurate and a lie because she was back on social media promoting her new care home. This one's wife said, The bulk of the bullying and abuse that I was experiencing in social media and online was when I was pregnant with Archie and with Lily. And you just think about it and really wrap your head around how people will be so hateful. It's not catty. It's cruel. Why would you do that? Certainly when you're pregnant and you have a newborn. Thus this one's wife plays the victim card again and issues a pity play. But then when it comes to the conduct that has been exhibited towards Catherine as of late, she's nowhere to be found, offering no sympathy and no support. This is entirely unsurprising, because not only does she have no emotional empathy, but moreover her narcissism deems Kate as nemesis, as somebody who isn't even deserving of cognitive empathy. Thus, a former friend of this one's wife identifies, once again, the hypocrisies of the narcissist and comments upon them, picked up by a national newspaper. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.